welcome to episode 18 of the Bee Fly Crochet Podcast. My name is Julie and I live in the Montreal area in the province of Quebec in Canada. Today is May 14, 2022. It is a gorgeous day outside. It's sunny. We are at I of what 33 or something like that uh, in Celsius and it's amazing. Finally, we have warm weather. I'm so happy with that. <laughs> so for today's episode, I have one finished object, one whip, one new cast on. I will also talk about my design and also have one thing that I've received in the mail. So first, let's talk about my finished object. Those are my Persephone socks. I have knit those using the Colway Persephone from uh, Camp Faber Yarn and I love them. So I'm, this was a colorway from uh, last year, um, color of the month. So each month she released a, a new color of the month and this was one. So I always use the uh, same uh, my, a pattern for my vanilla socks. It is the vanilla socks on DPN from uh, K of Crazy Sock Lady. So I did 20 round of two by two ribbing, 50 round legs, heel flap and gusset, 60 round for my foot and rounded toe. So another pair of socks. So I've cleared one pair, uh, one more needles for camp since uh, summer sock camp will start on the 28th of May. So I do have this ready. So one pair's ready. The whip that I would love to talk to you about is in this basket. And I think I will need to change it out because it's growing out from the basket. This is my Ridgeline Duster from Chantelle of Nititude. Show it in the, in the right right way. So I've done quite a bit. I was just here the last time, so I knit. I finished the body. Now I still have one row to do before I just split because at this point I will have three sections, so both front and a lar larger part for the back. Here. So I'm pretty happy how it turned out. I would love to have it finished for this uh, this summer. So when I go see my parents and at their campground, I can bring it for the, the night, during the night when we do the fire pit. So I'm using Hobie yarn, Divina, in the, um, we just, they don't put the name of the yarn on the label, but it's color five and it's shark. So I do have quite a lot and I love this yarn. I want to buy more, more of this yarn because I want to make more thing out of that because it is so comfy, so, so soft. It's, uh, 65% alpaca, 25% polyamide, and 10% wool for 100 gram. No, it's 50 gram ball, sorry. So yeah, and I'm knitting it using Knitter's Pride Dreams. This is a US 9, 5.5 millimeters, and I love it. After that, when I'm done with this pattern, my daughter also want one, and it will be exactly the same colors. The new cast on that I will love to talk to you about, <laughs> I'll explain the story afterwards, but it's in this bag that I bought on Amazon, so I don't know where it's from. Um, this is my, I did, when I did, finish the uh, Persephone sock. I have looked if I had, because I have pretty, pretty decent amount of yarn left. So I was wondering if I can knit with that 
uh, the rest of them, a pair of uh, journey socks, and I did weigh them, and I will have missed a few grams, uh, like 10 grams, and I was wondering, yeah, maybe, I'm not decided yet, I want to finish those one before, so I went, and I went in my stash, and I have a big, big box up there with my, uh, all my leftovers, and I did grab this one, so I did one socks completely, so this is um, the rest of the ball that I have left from my summer sorrel of, of last year. So I still have, I had like almost 50 gram of uh, yarn left. So what I've done is that last, this week, I had a one day that I was in heel learning. So I did cast on and did few rounds, few, few rows because we, you start in rows, few rows of that pattern and I did finish it during the e-learning session. So I've went done and I have started the second one, but I'm trying to uh, be better and practicing my continental style of knitting. So I've knit this one, I've started that yesterday while I was watching a movie with the family and I did all of that in cont continental style so I want to continue on that and hoping to finish it up this socks using and I have like a lot of left I know I, I will be I will have enough yarn and then afterwards I would like to weigh my socks to see how much yarn I need because I really want to have, where's my ball? There. A pair of, sh of uh, journey socks with that. So the journey socks are a pattern by Margaret for Heidi and Lana. And I love those. And they are so comfortable and everything. So I can wait and I will make a lot more of those socks. And they knit so fast. I've knit those. My e-learning was, what, six hours? And I've done a socks, and at the end I wasn't knitting at all, so yeah. Okay, I love that. So I will have finished that before the start of uh, summer sock camp. I wanna do something really spe special. I'm planning on doing that. And now let's talk about my design it's always in the bin. I like having stuff in the bin when I'm around the house. So I'm using Knit Picks Stroll Fingering in the Eucalyptus Tonal colorway. And I am, last time I did finish the front. Now the back is done. I just have to uh, sit and do it. I want to redo all of my binding because I don't like them. So I want to redo it again. And then I want to do a three needle bind off. And I want to record it because I want to do a tutorial so that we, you, if you don't know how to do the three, three needles bind off, you will have a video live on YouTube to uh, go with this so it's pretty plain for now. It's stuck in it with a little bit of ribbing, but I'm planning something special for the sleeves and I can't wait. So it will, my goal is to have it finished for the end of May so that I can go ahead and do the tester call so that the testers will have from all June and half of July to make it. I'm planning on leaving them like a six six seven weeks window to do it it's totally doable but yeah i'm in love with that i can't wait to have what i have in my mind and to have it like in my hands i can't wait so now let's talk about males i do just have one 
thing that I received and this is my yarn of the month from the cozy knitter this is from the month of April and the name of this colorway is mother earth and I love it so we'll see can wait I'm like for now I just don't cast on socks because I want to do a big like cast on party on May 28th so what I'm planning on is that I will have all of my needles free so I'm now that I've this pair of socks finished the first from one and uh, I will finish the journey socks and then after that uh, I will uh, don't I won't cast on any any socks and then after that I will grab some yarn and what I'm planning to do is to do a two days vlog so on the Friday on how I prepared for the uh, kickoff of the camp so on the cast on party which is the 28th on the Saturday so on Friday I will go in my stash find out every yarn that I will love to knit and grab my bag grab everything so I can show you how I do prepare one round the yarn and everything and on uh, Saturday morning I will go and cast on all like each and every one of them and uh, i'm hoping i will have enough time on saturday if not i will go ahead and cast few on the uh sunday on the 29th and i'm planning on record it all and do fun vlog uh for you so that you can see what i'm doing and then on the po podcast forward i will have so many new guests <laughs> But I think that socks are really great for the summer because when you do a, a garment like a, a shawl or cardigan or um, you have it and it's pretty hot on you, uh, I'm pretty happy. We do have the AC in the house so I can knit on sweaters even during summer because it's not that hot in my house. <laughs> But I do like to go and uh, on the, my back patio and just chill that, chill there. And yeah, I would love to uh, do that. And when I'm there, I'm on, only knitting on socks and small thing because I don't want to have all the weight and everything uh, on me. So yeah, that's my plan for the next few weeks. So trying to finish my design and also my journey socks. Those are my two most things that I would love to finish. Uh, and now let's talk about news. So last week was um, Mother's Day. So we had a pretty busy day. So in the morning we went to my mother's, uh, my mother-in-law's house. We went there, we had a brunch, uh, just us four and my mother-in-law. And it was so fun. My husband decided that he would love to please me and please uh, his mom so he did all the cooking and everything for us so we didn't have to uh, cook so I was like we were chilling in the living room and talking and everything so that was amazing after that we did go for a walk and we had that uh, went to the park the kids can play and everything and then afterwards we went to my grandma's house i'm lucky to have both of my grandmas still alive so i went to my grandma on my father's side and uh, a lot of my uncle and cousin were there and most of them i haven't seen since like 2019 so it was so much fun to be there and talk with them and everything and afterwards we went for uh, dinner at my parents' house. So my brother and his girlfriend was there. We had so much fun. We were like chilling outside and everything. And my father j just cooked for us and was amazing. And 
the, this past uh, Wednesday was my mother-in-law's birthday, so she turns 65 uh, on, uh, yeah, on Wednesday. So we did have, uh, we didn't do nothing because we are planning uh, tomorrow to have a, a brunch, a surprise brunch for her. So she don't know we will be all be there with her sisters and her brothers. And it was so much fun to just gather the family and everything. So that is the reason why I'm recording on a Saturday and not on a Sunday. Because I don't know when we will come back and I don't want to rush myself to do uh, the podcast since it's something that I really enjoy and I've, I want to take my time. So that's why I'm recording today. So yeah, today was a pretty chill day. I was home uh, this morning. I was with the kids. My husband has an appointment for a massage. So he went there and after that he went to help his mother. Uh, so on the... Uh, on her land she had uh, she had some work to do so she asked if my husband could go and they uh they went there and he went to help her so i just went with the kids we went running some herons and just yeah chilling on the back patio and everything so it was so much fun and now we are planning to have a great evening of family evening all together and everything so it will be so much fun uh yeah so that is pretty much it what is new in my life over the last uh two two weeks so we'll see what will be going on through um the next few weeks it seems that it's gonna be pretty busy but it's okay i like doing stuff and everything so so I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or leave them in the comment down below. And while you are there, if you want to subscribe, I will really appreciate it. Until next time, happy making. Bye.